Hi friends, it's Mr. Kurt Nielsen. There's a bird singing to me. It's not even 6 a.m. It's ice cold outside, about to rain, and I'm still gonna do a video for you, because I love you. You got 15 minutes? Let's have some fun. Oh, if you're feeling down as dirt, come on and have some fun with Kurt. We'll paint a bit and horse around. I'll pick your spirits off of the ground. Well, it's so early that I forgot my egg timer. But 15 minutes start right now. I'm just gonna look at the time on the screen. The bird has moved to another area. So he's gonna be in my picture today. Little birdie. I hear him, I hear all sorts of things. I am in an abandoned building. Well, I'm not inside of it, I'm outside of it. It used to be a city hall kind of thing. People are getting ready for the day. That bird sure is loud. He was even more so when he was underneath the eaves. But hey, we all gotta do what we gotta do. He probably thinks, who's this idiot drawing <laughs> before 6 a.m. right about to rain, you know? Oh, I don't care. Oh, everything's sliding. Anyway, gotta do your thing, guys. Don't let limitations get in the way. Lord knows I've had my own limitations. Oh, someone's moving something from the dumpster. Yeah, a car's coming in. I'm gonna deal with that. If they come and stop the video, so be it. All right. I do love birds, the sound of birds. It's the sound of life, you know? All right. It's hard to see here. Don't have control of anything here today, but that's totally cool. Okay, yeah, I don't wanna to add too much more than that today. I'm gonna to go kinda of loose and informal. That's all right, too. I do love birds. I grew up in an area where we had birds all over the place. It's like being in nature, you know? Well, it was nature. My neighbor had a uh, blue jay that used to visit him all the time. My neighbor's name was Calixti Bernatacou, and he was from France, and he was a true old-fashioned Frenchman. He had a garden in his backyard, and he grew all of his own vegetables. He made a lot of soup. I used to go to his backyard and eat soup in the greenery. Sometimes I'd go into his kitchen. He was the real deal. Man, it was fun. We didn't realize it as kids how special that actually was, but... Hey, good morning. It is? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Well, I got in trouble for that. Uh, that's okay, so I <laughs> stopped drawing and I'm starting up again. Uh, this video is going to be all bitched up, but here's, here's one of the challenges, you know. When you're out and about in the world, sometimes people will uh, interfere, intervene. And uh, the guy told me, he's like, hey, this is my building. Actually, it belongs to the city. It's kind of a lie. He was just protecting the place, but um, yeah. Anyway. You know, even in public parks where they encourage you to play and horse around, you know, if you're doing art, sometimes people will stare at you and say, you know, what are you doing there? What, what's, what's, what's the deal? And like, well, I'm just painting. Like, I guess if you're not eating a bologna sandwich or something like that, then uh, it, it makes people uncomfortable. And I get that. I get that. Oh my gosh. Anyway. All right. So I'm feeling pretty good about the structure of this. Okay. All right. So that's, that's the thing. The bird moved away. So did the, the man who reprimanded me. And let us... Um, I need a paintbrush. It's in my backpack. Everything today is out of whack. I've got my little kit here. And you'll notice everything. It's like, it's, like, uh, it's all out. It's a mess, but it's still usable. You're like, what, what, what kind of beauty can come out of this? A whole lot of beauty. I promise you. I promise you. Help if I get my paintbrush out. It's stuck. It's stuck in the tray. And my battery's dying. <laughs> Everything's challenging me today. I'm still going to make this video for you. Because that's what I do. So you got my one hand. This is like the video that does not want to get made. And notice I'm not stopping. I don't have my timer. I don't have light. 
I don't have all my tools, I'm getting reprimanded. And yet I'm still going ahead. Why? Because it, it should be done. I've done a little bit more. I'm going to truncate this video. and I'm using that word a lot lately, aren't I? I'm going to truncate this video in some regards. Uh, just to fit it into that 15 minute schematics but you know just keep doing your art you know there was this one place in southern california i won't say what it is because it's sort of like my secret gimmick but they have this whole plaque telling people like this is a place where we want artists to congregate and families to spend time together i mean they're, they're very explicit it's it's the the builder's credo and it's been there for years and years and years and then you um actually try to put that into motion and then they try to kick you out i'm like hey look look at the builder's credo it's like if, if you if you don't want this to happen don't don't have this posted and um i've gotten in a lot of trouble for um for painting there or listening to music <laughs> it's been weird so you're wondering why i'm putting gray clouds well it is about to rain so and of course you know i'm all about motion here so i'm just feeling out motion to me this is the idea of a bird's wings flapping and I think that's kind of exciting. The bird is definitely part of this here. Um, anyway, so I want to replicate the motion of the the uh, the wings, but I also want to create sort of something that is reminiscent of clouds, and it ties in with that down at the bottom. See, that's all design. It's great stuff, isn't it? Not really. It's just me being me. I'm gonna put some spatters in there because I do like spatters. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is uh, a hodgepodge video today, but that seems to be my whole life, you know. Um, keep creating no matter what; it's really good for you. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I I had challenges over the years where people wanted to stop me from creating, you know, because they said it was it was worthless. You know, that's not a real job. You know, you're wasting your time. It's always just viewed as play. Well, they have proven that those who um, listen to music, for example, and do the arts, um, actually become more intelligent. They're able to assimilate thought better. Um, they can do mathematics more easily. And a lot of people don't even equate mathematics with, um, uh, with art, and yet they are pretty much one and the same. Although I can't do math, I can't explain that one, but they, they say it does open up channels of your mind. Uh, so you're able to do that a little more clearly. Um, but, yeah, you know, you go to other countries other than the United States, and uh, art is, is a valued thing. You know, it's a part of the culture. And, um, you know, here in the United States, like, why don't you get a real job? You know, I've heard that all my life. Um, I won't deny that it has uh, gotten into my gray matter and it's made it a little difficult. So you can't constantly have to um, reassert yourself, you know, and, uh, and, and find your inner strength. It's not easy, uh, but what you do is, uh, well, number one, you keep doing your art, but number two, you need a, you need a support group of some kind, you know, friends, um, you know, if not in person, maybe online, um, you know, people that, that believe in you and, and, and see validity in what you do. And uh, once you got that, then you can move forward. But um, it's really hard when it's just you standing on your own. Luckily for you, the world that we live in nowadays is, uh, is very open to such things. And there are resources that certainly didn't exist when I was a kid. Certainly we're not there. But for you, it's, it's a great time. So please embrace those things. Everybody's going through a lot of stuff right now, um, and I get it, but um, don't give up no matter what you do, please. Especially with your art. Every day, do your art. Learn to smile, even when you don't feel it. Try to put that positivity forward. Try your best. All right, and notice I did this on purpose. It was still wet, and I wanted it to bleed out because I want that sort of action in motion. I'm going to use that same orange down on the feet and that's probably going to add a little bleeding action there too because I got my spatters down there. See there's no right or wrong answers here. No right or wrong answers. My timing is going to be a little off on this video today. Don't worry about it. Just like the informality of my painting style, the, the videos 
will have their own thing going too. All right? Yeah. No, but <laughs> it's never easy getting yelled at. You never get to a station in life where you know how to deal with that and just let it roll off your back. It still bothers you, especially when you're an artist. You know, and artists do tend to feel things a little more deeply if they're worth their salt. Uh, the man who talked to me, I guess he was just doing his job, but um, he said, oh, you're just painting, huh? And, and it, as, it, as if it was something menacing. Well, of course it's not, but I guess there are a lot of people out there, you know, might be squatters or whatever. Uh, so I guess I guess I looked suspicious. He was just doing his thing. I can't hold it against him, but again, it does make you a little nervous. I can't help it, so it'll probably be in the back of my head today for a chunk of the day, so I gotta sit and think about that for a while and not let it overtake me. That's the thing, we all kinda deal with depression, guys. We all deal with things that affect our psyche and, uh, and make us uh, feel inferior or, or less than who we are. Uh, it just happens, I mean, we're people. You know, if you lived in a bubble and had complete control, it, maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but uh, many of us have lived in a bubble where we do have complete control, or <laughs> a version of it, and, uh, and that's not so good either, right? So you, you do have to go into the world and, and take chances sometimes, and sometimes you get hurt. Um, it's gonna happen, um, but don't let it deter you from being who you are and, and, and going out there. I mean, if somebody yells at you who looks a certain way, don't turn against all the people who look that way for the rest of your life. It was just that one instance, right? You know, I've, I've had friends of mine who, you know, have bad, in, you know, experiences, you know, with relationships and they say, oh, I'm done with women. Boy, if that's the case, you're in for a long, painful ride. <laughs> no, but, um, I have insecurities just like you do. Well, they're all coming out today in this video, but um, you can't let them overtake you because the moment that they do, the moment you stop producing, the moment you stop living, life becomes a chore. It becomes uncomfortable, it becomes painful, and you stop being who you are and what you're meant to be. So I encourage you to keep on fighting no matter how you feel, because trust me, we're all going through a struggle right now. It's not just you, it's all of us. And I know if we stick together and we protect our hearts, everything will be fine. I'm, I'm convinced of that. Anyway, I'm getting close to what would have been the 15 minute mark. So as soon as I slap down this last bit of color, I'm gonna call it quits on this video. Kind of a somber video, isn't it? But hey, as you know, I choose not to edit. I'm a straight ahead kind of guy with these videos and that's the kind of character I wish to keep. We're too edited in this society right now where everybody wants to be perfect all the time. The truth of the matter is there's no such thing as perfection. All right, it's not, perfection's a lie. All right, well, that's about 15 minutes <laughs> and I will finish it up later as always look to the link below for the Instagram page to see the finished product take care guys